melee teams are going to be at the end of the middle, right? We got time 9, 8, and 7. Amateur Vegans are going to start at the back. Don't just smash full. Alright. Nice. One, go. This song is so good. Have you ever played Shovel Knight? I have not, but I've heard fantastic things. Alright, quick 51%. Wow. Yikes. I had... Remember Flames, like... His, his idea is I'm just gonna keep my the ground mine. Oh. He's getting rid of Waddles. He's going crazy. Clearing the field and just keeping the pressure on, you know? Right. Not letting Ripple do his game plan. We'll see um, Hyperflame try and heal off of any uh, Waddle Doos. Well, like, when he has the chance, of course. Oh, I doubt it. The thing is, like, I imagine that they're very inconsistent when they shoot, you know? And it's, it's probably not worth it in the long run. Gosh, Hyperflame is all over Ripple. Oh, good to look, just. Tom Hawk just like scaring Ripple and Shield. Right now, Hyperflame just, you know, taking center stage and not giving it up. Alright. Offense up Dacus will cover that uh, away DI off the down throw. That's usually what you want to do, but with offense up and that wide, wide up smash, it's just, right. you know. We're gonna kiss off the top. Uh, now we get to see uh, more of a uh, Ripple slash Waddle D or DDD's um, like fast faller combos. Right. We've mostly seeing him having to deal with like more lighter characters. And the thing is, Lucas, if I remember correctly, he's light, but he's a fast faller. Or fast, fast, fast faller. So, um, pardon me. so it's like I don't know. You can't really do the things you do against the normal fast fallers. Spacey's Falcon, etc. Right. Now you don't have like up throw chain grabs. Because he up threw him at like 0 or 10 or something. And he just died away and fared. Oh. Oh, that uh, back air spike. Killing Ripple at a very low 70%. Looks like uh, Hyperflame having a pretty commanding lead in this first game of this Winter's Finals. Yeah. It's really interesting watching Hyper how he controls space in this matchup. Because just in the ground game, he was approaching with Magnet and then wave dashing back and then like coming closer with Magnet. Oh, great finishing combo. Three stocks. Yeah, we're full getting three stock. That's a rare, rare occasion. Going straight to FD. This is Ripple's counter pick or uh, um, comfort pick for sure, but like the mother boys do not mind the stage at all. Yeah. Oh, Disjoint on forward air uh, also keeps out Waddles, something I didn't think about. And uh, Nair is a quick little like clear for those Waddles with one of these. Lucas is like slight Disjoints are like, I feel like they're not the defining factor in this matchup, but they sure do help. Like with like Magnet, for example, if uh, Ripple throws a, a Waddle D at Hyperflame, Magnet will just send that um, right. Waddle D behind Hyperflame, but just negating Ripple's advantage in that in that uh, exchange. All right. So back to this ground game, kind of trying to hit each other. Yeah. The mag he just used the Magnet, like you said. Yeah, makes up time. Ah, he just goes for the forward throw. Yep. It looks like he DI'd it well, too. This might have been too high percent. So far, we're seeing a much more closer game than uh, last game. Yep. Alright. So that was a nice up throw combo. Got yeah, about 40% out of it. No 
Uh, one thing to maybe uh, take notice if um, Hyperflame goes for that Dacus and technically misses uh, Ripple, oh, smash KO. he'll still keep it if he hits a Waddle. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. I love looking at DT's face during his animations, especially his Nair. He just looks so happy. But when he gets hit, he's like crying. Oh. Yeah. Good tomahawk. Wow. This game is looking so much different. Yeah, Hyperflame can like stall with that magnet, but like the it's like the length inevitable. Yeah, exactly. Like magnet, magnets. Um, uh, mobility is all like on the ground, definitely not in the air. And with multiple jumps, uh, you know, DDD can just kind of stall things out. <laughs> Up to, all right, stepping on the beach yet again. Jesus, sixty-one percent in just down air. Still going, still going. Ninety-eight. See, at this point, like, you don't necessarily want to do this, but Ripple can just trade. If he can, like, find ways, obviously. He's up so much. Oh, Good. he didn't keep it. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't, you don't keep it on shield. I, the thought was that it hit a waddle. Oh. Uh, maybe if it hit shield, even if it hits a waddle, maybe? That's a interaction I didn't really think of. Oh. Throw forward air. No KO yet. That beer versus yep. uh, swallow gets punished by a magnet back air. Right. But now Ripple, I feel like he did his work on that last stock. Hey. He got him up to a high percent. Shield's looking small. God. You know, interestingly enough. Uh, Ripple has not forced PK Thunder. Yeah. He's only really... He's not even really punishing Tether that much. We say that with, like, uh, let the fast faller combos, where, like, up throw to, like, fair right. is, like, pretty guaranteed and a great, like, high percentage kill setup. Alright, so... Hyper Flame... Opting to go for a small stage, try to just cover everything. Run him over. The rare uh, actual completion of uh, a B yeah. by Ripple. Hit him with the star. Him there. Mm, that platform kind of helped him out. Plus, I don't know if you would have killed because you would have got like the weak hit of that up smash. Right. Alright, up smash chaos. Alright. Oh, he's just going in. 74% so quick. Oh, he doesn't have a punish. Maybe he gets an up air? too slow. Maybe an air. I don't know. But I don't know if it would like reach actually like on the stage, you know? Right. Wow. Nice shield pressure here by Hyperflame. Taking some uh, putting in some damage as well. How quick this dude ranks up damage is insane. It's like there's like 60 within like like five or ten seconds. Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe like up smash has like a base, a weak base hit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh he was on tag. the ground. Wow. He's called I out. That, I think that's like the the first up or a fourth smash, excuse me, we've seen yeah. all, all said. So, this is actually a complete reverse of the last game. Yeah, but like, it's been dominant just one, one side of the other. Ripple looks a little bit, a little bit distraught. Stroking the beard, trying to gain Said. some wisdom. Mm. What should I do? 
Why does he say Ripple doesn't sound like that? Mm, yes, yes, yes he does. <laughs> I shall throw more minions. That's what cool. I shall do. Oh. That's an interesting pick. I would not... Hmm. Oh. Okay, so... Hyper Flame has been able to show dominance on big and small stages now. Smashville is pretty big, very wide. Oh, uh, my uh, theory is like he's Ripple's really trying to uh, utilize like dare harassment. Okay. Oh, nice the tomahawk. Go in there. Oh, that was, that was weird. weird. Tether like actually on the stage. Yes, that's good. Ivy can't do that. Alright. Attacked by a ripple. We hit a bear. Ooh. Oh, that back your spike. Alright. Down throw chain grabs or tech chase is ready. Go to a crouch cancel grab by a ripple there. Right. Absorbing those weak hits. Oh! Wow! Right. Courage by Hyper Flame just like flirting yeah. with that Gordo. I mean, you saw him pull back a little bit. Yeah. Whoa. Up smash. This is definitely the closest game we've seen so far. Yeah. And I'm not complaining. Yeah, no, I mean. It's just insane. Oh, he went for the back. You know, sometimes you watch players and they like get a good combo here and there. But like, Hyper Flame's damage output is just so consistent. He doesn't like, let every up. game is like multiple highlight rails. Speaking right, of, yeah. Even uh, the first, well, it's offense up, uh, boosted up smash. But like, off the top kills on FOD is not like what your game plan is. But just right. how strong it is with offense up, just let's get that. Just goes in. No stopping this dude. I think we jinxed him. We're like, oh, this is yeah. a really close game, and then. All right, well, it looks like a hammer can stop him. I'll, I'll shut up. I legitimately don't know how how DD is supposed to deal with Lucas. The thought is, you know, you get him off stage, but you can't really deal with Tether by normal convention. Good edge cancel by Ripple. Yep. PK freeze off smash doesn't get the KO. PK freeze, beats out inhale. I'm starting to wander, flirting with uh, up, up through territory. Alright. Oh, that deck is on shield, we'll get punished here. Oh, Order. missed up tilt. 